Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look with a little pop of lavender in the inner corners. You can always not put the pop of lavender if you'd like to use this as maybe more of like an everyday look. Pretty simple and easy. If you are interested in seeing how I got this look, please stay tuned. I'm going to start this look by hydrating my skin with the Evian Face Mist and then going ahead and moving to priming with the Nivea Face Balm. I'm mixing two foundations together today, dotting that all over my face, and I will be buffing this in with a flat top kabuki brush from Walmart. I believe it is the Eco Tools brand. For concealer today, I'm going to be using my current favorite, which is the Bare Minerals Eye Brightening Formula, and I will be using this underneath my eyes, mainly as a highlighter, not so much for coverage and concealing. I'm going to go ahead and take this on my nose, Cupid's bow, and also my forehead, just to eliminate some of the redness, and I'll be buffing this in with a damp beauty blender. To set that, I'm going to be using the powders in the Anastasia, mixing the banana and one of the highlighter powders under my eyes on a Sephora brush. So I'm trying something new. I am taking this translucent pressed powder by Bare Minerals with a brush and I am loosening that powder up and I'm going to actually use this as if it was a loose setting powder like the Laura Mercier powder. But I'm actually going to use a damp beauty blender to apply this and I'm going to use this to set underneath my eyes and I'm also going to try to use this to see if it works as baking. I'm all about repurposing products and since I cannot find a loose powder here I figured why not. Next, I'm going to go into this Too Faced palette, and this is from one of their holiday collections, and I will just be using the bronzer. Normally, I would have this depotted in a Z palette, but these powders um, are extremely fragile, so I don't recommend depotting these um, unless you are willing to fix them, which I'm lazy, so I'm not going to fix them when I break them because I've already broken several. I'm going to go ahead and dust off the under eye powder that I put on using one of my very favorite brushes. If you want to know which one it is, check the description box or watch my July favorites video. It must be repurposing day because this is not my contour brush, but it worked out well, so I may have found a new use for it. I'm taking a Max Stippling brush just to kind of buff and blend everything together, and then a Real Techniques brush to try out my self-made loose powder as a bake. I wanted to see what the difference in the finish was. I am also doing a slight nose contour today using the Anastasia Contour Kit. And then I'm going to move on to eyes, prepping my eyes with the concealer that I used from Bare Minerals. And I will just be taking a fluffy brush to blend that in. I'm setting my eyes before we move into eyeshadow and today I'll be using the Ombre Rouge Eye Palette by Becca and we'll be using shade number three first. I will be dusting that into my crease and just a little bit above the crease. Next I'll use shade number four from the palette and this will go right into the crease over the exact same area that number three did and this is just to give it a little bit of warmth in that area. The next shade that I'll use is number five and I'll be taking this on a flat, I believe, Sigma E35 brush and I will be concentrating that directly in the crease. With all these shadows, I am not going in the shape of my eye but more parallel to my eyebrow. Next, I'll be using the Morphe M507 brush with the color five to define that straight line and also to warm up that area just a little bit. This is just to give it a little bit of depth that we're looking for so it's very easily defined. Then I will go on my bottom lash line and do the exact same colors in the same order, number three, four, and then using number five to actually smoke out that bottom lash line. When I'm finished with my bottom lash line, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush with no product and blend everything together on my eyelid. Now I'm going to prime my eyelid with a shadow base, and I believe this one was from NYX. I will link it down below. And I will be taking a color from the Tartlet palette, and I believe this is Free Spirit or Super Mom. I can't remember which one. I will link it down below for you, though. And I just packed that shadow on my eyelid. Just real quick on the brows, I did not do those on camera. And then I am setting my brows with clear mascara. Again, we're all about repurposing today. 
Now the star of today's show is this Inglot pigment in number 120, and this will give us that lilac pop of color in the inner corners of our eyes. Now for those subscribers who are not big into the bright colors on your face, you do not have to do the purple. You can go with our normal colors that we've already applied and move about your day. I went ahead and coated my lashes with mascara to put on falsies, and I am still trying to blend away my self-made bake. I'm seeing how this is going to work out. I went in with some blush just to kind of warm this up. I will say that my self-made bake powder was a bit difficult to get blended and to actually um, have it look seamless into the blush and bronzer. So the jury's still out if this is going to work or not. I did use today my MAC Lightscape Highlighter, and I said I was going to do a very subtle, very little bit of highlight, but we all know what happens when that's said. So I took that on the high points of my cheeks, my cupid's bow, nose, and also up above my eyebrows, just to give the spots where the light would naturally hit a little bit of glisten. So just so you can see how different this look is with different lipsticks, I did one look with this Bright Berry, which is by ColourPop in the color Too Sexy. It's one of their lippy sticks. And then I also did the same look with a nude lip, and this is Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star. I went ahead and I set my makeup with my Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray, and that completes this look. I do hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, and please make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.